come back with a big, pretty big haul. I've got some of the fall stuff early and uh, I've got some of the wine country stuff which is coming out on August 3rd. Uh, there will be a new floor set then. And I'm sure a lot of this fall stuff will even be out just because I went to a Bath and Body Works yesterday which already had uh, the fall candles out. Of course they were full price. Um, they did have some fall scents in the little, you know, mason jars or the little single wick candles um, for two for twenty. Um, so those are on sale. They had fall soaps out. They had some uh, wallflowers out. They had some like uh, wallflower refills and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna jump into what I got, and it's all in different bags. So I'm just gonna grab a bag in no particular order and just kind of go what's in that one bag. But uh, one bag I actually have sitting out, so I'm just going to start with that one. Um, but the first thing that I picked up is the Sunlight and Apple Trees Smart Soap Refill. Uh, this is the only fall scent they had out currently uh, for this, the Smart Soap Refill, so I went ahead and grabbed that one. And I actually got a new Smart Soap because it's $25 if you get the dispenser and a soap. Um, that's the deal they run on it. Um, I went ahead and got the like stainless steel looking version for my kitchen and um, the other one that I have is white and I just think this one kind of looks more expensive um, and looks you know just a little bitter just a little bitter it looks a little better you know what I mean it just looks less plasticky and stuff than the white ones or the colored ones do um, so I went ahead and grabbed that and did that little $25 deal and then uh, of course yesterday too the soaps are on sale for $3.50 so I picked up a couple more. I picked up the Maple Sugar Kiss. This one smells really really good. I'll read the notes to you. I'm not going to go through my thoughts on every one of them just because uh, there's quite a few soaps. Um, and I don't want the video to be super long because it takes forever <laughs> to upload if it's long. Um, but the notes are brown sugar, vanilla, and maple. To me, it kind of smells like a sugar cookie with a little bit of like maple syrup mixed in. Um, the next one is pumpkin cupcake, which I have a lot of um, from last year. But I like this packaging better, so I think I might just like get some more of these and like sell uh, the older packaging. I just think this packaging is really adorable. I love like the little cupcake on there. The notes in this are baked pumpkin and whipped vanilla frosting, and we all know what the uh, pumpkin cupcake smells like. It's a staple, it's a classic, you need it in your life. And then the next one is Fall Lakeside Breeze. The packaging on this one is just gorgeous. I love the blue, I love this packaging, it's so pretty. My cat is going crazy. That little heart rug that I have over here, she loves it. She like dives under it and goes nuts. She's just going crazy over there. Anyway, the notes in this one are blue sage, basil, and sandalwood. Let me tell you, this one's very unique and different. I love it. Um, if you like Chris, Mor uh, Chris Morning Air or you like, see what did they have before? She just went to talk. I'm oh, sorry, my cat is entertaining. Um, or if you like, what did they have out before? Like, if you like like uh, really fresh scents, like sweater weather and stuff like that, you will really like this one. I think this one is very unique, and I'm just obsessed. And I definitely want to stock up on this one. This is one that I definitely want to get few of in case it doesn't come back next year and then with that with that uh, soap purchase I got a freebie I got the cool melon kiwi uh, body lotion which I really like um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon so I've got some things that I'm going to be putting in that giveaway and this will be one of them since it was my favorite scent and then for some wildflowers I picked up leaves and I picked up harvest gathering Sweater Weather, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, Marshmallow Fireside, and a Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. So I have got, some, got a good start on fall wallflowers. So I love the fall scents. They're my favorite. Um, so I'm just excited. So in the next bag here, I've got this little wine, how cute is this? It looks like a wine bottle. Here's the back of it. And um, then it's got like some little grapes and some leaves. Uh, this one holds the four ounce candle. I think you could even put, you know, a mini candle of course, but maybe like a mason jar. I'm not sure if it will, I'm sure, well, it looks like it would hold a mason jar. And it's just really cute. So there's that one. And this one is $12.50 by the way. And then I also got the three wick version. And this is what it looks like. 
there's the back and again it's got like you know the grapes and the leaves and this one is $24.50 uh, I just thought the wine bottle was just adorable the next thing that I got was this little squirrel pocket back holder um, as you can see it's got like a furry little tail and then it's little uh, acorn lights up if you press the button it's little acorn lights up there as you can see uh, I'm not like huge on the light up idea like to me that's it's like to me it's like you know something that would appeal to a child um but this one's actually kind of cute just because it's just a little acorn and the little acorn's got little silver uh, like glitter pieces on it I don't know I, I'm not a big fan of the light up I don't think it's like necessary but the little fairy tail is just super adorable um this is $7.50 by the way um, and then I got like when they did that first look email and you spent ten dollars and you could get the free uh, you know wine country trio I did that and the, here is the Napa Valley Sunset the Vineyard Champagne Kiss and the Sonoma Weekend Escape uh, these two smell like something that I have smelled before um, they don't remind me, they're not unique, they, you know, they remind me of other fragrances that have been out. This one does smell like something that is new, the Sonoma Weekend Escape. Uh, it's a good scent, I like it. It's sort of peachy, I know it's got, I think peach was one of the notes in it. Um, but, they're, they smell good, but they're not something that, you know, neither, none of them like stick out to me, like where I feel like I'm going to go buy the full size body care. Um, I think I will skip the full size body care on this collection and just use these maybe give them away I'm not like a, I don't, you know what I mean I'm not loving them I don't hate them they're not gross but I'm not like wow and especially when like the fall scents will follow this I know that I will definitely want fall scents and the full size body care so for me this is just okay and for that reason I'm just not gonna even jump into the full size body care um, I may get like a scrub or something in that Sonoma Weekend Escape if there's scrubs in the collection. I don't remember if there's going to be scrubs, but um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. If you haven't tried those, I don't think they're anything too special in my opinion. Do they smell nice? Yes. Do a couple of them remind me of scents they've done in the past? Yes. Um, Sonoma Weekend Escape is probably my favorite. If you do want to check these out, I do recommend that one. But if you're like, eh, I'm more into the fall. I would easily skip these. So the next bag is nothing but soaps and the first one is the Napa Valley Sunset soap. I actually really like the soap in Napa Valley Sunset. As far as the body care though, like I said, I could just pass. The notes in this are luscious Cabernet, sun ripened grape, and aged oak. So there is what it looks like. And by the way, I posted all of this on Instagram. I do Instagram before I do anything, so if you do not follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Because, like, I mean, I do. I post everything there first. That is my number one social media site. So that is where I go first when I get new stuff and I'm excited about it. The next one is Cozy Vanilla Cream. And the notes in it are whipped frosting, sweet cream, and vanilla bean. Yum. The next one is Bright Autumn Day. I really like this one. It's so fresh and clean. Um, the notes in it are sweet citrus, cinnamon, and blonde woods. Even though those, those don't... Some of those notes don't sound like they'd be like fresh and clean. To me, it is fresh and clean and reminiscent of a fall day, and I just love it. And then, of course, I got a crisp morning air. The packaging is beautiful, and the product itself just smells really good. The notes in it are pine, juniper, and a hint of pear. Gorgeous packaging and a gorgeous smelling scent. If you can call a scent gorgeous, because it's just so good. The next one is Black Cherry Merlot. Now the candle I wasn't crazy about. I don't feel like I can smell anything as far as the candle goes. It's very light, but the soap is really good. And the notes in it are Dark Cherry, Juicy Black Raspberry, and Sumptuous Merlot. Good stuff. The next one is Wild Vineyard Blooms. And the notes in it are Blushing Peonies, Autumn Vines, and Port Wine. The next soap is Ripe Raspberry Vine. This one's probably one of my favorites. Really, really, a really, really a great scent. Definitely recommend this one. The notes in it are Fresh Raspberries, Sweet Rhubarb, and Garden Musk. Good stuff. And then the last soap in this bag is the Sonoma Sunflower Blossom. 
I'm not crazy about this one, but of course I wanted to get it, show you guys what it looked like. Um, I would probably exchange this one out or throw it in my giveaway. Um, and then the next, or the notes in it are bright sunflowers, sweet orange blossoms, and white grape. Because after all, just because I don't like it, or it's not my favorite, doesn't mean somebody else won't love it. The next bag is even more soaps. Um, the first one in here is pumpkin pecan waffles. Yum. Maple syrup in a bottle. It's very sweet. Sickeningly sweet. If you don't like those kinds of fragrances, definitely pass on this. But if you do, get it if you've never tried it. Um, the notes are fluffy waffles, sugared pecans, and maple syrup. Uh, the next one here is one of the wine bottle uh, soaps. And this one is in the Sonoma Sunflower Blossom. The wine bottles are just, in my opinion, too cute to pass up. Um, for somebody who kind of like collects Bath and Body Works, you know? Like, I obviously use it, but, you know, a lot of it, I think, is just sort of, like, collector because you never know if they'll do a wine bottle soap again. Um, it's just cute. These are $6.50, by the way. Um, so, yeah, there is that one. <laughs> so cute. Uh, the next soap is also the wine bottle, and this one is in the White Peach Chardonnay. Cute. Another wine soap in the Ripe Raspberry Vine. Black Cherry Merlot. California Citrus and Sunshine. And the Napa Valley Sunset. And the last soap in this bag is Pumpkin Cupcake. Oh, I love pumpkin cupcake. Such good stuff. And then in this next bag, I got the little pumpkin scent portable. It's glitter. How cute is like all this like gold orange glitter? It's so cute. This is $6.50 by the way. Love the pumpkin. And then I got this wallflower. It's a wine bottle. How adorable is that? And it's actually got like a cork right here. You can actually, you know, feel the texture of it. It's neat. Um, this one's purple. They actually do have a green wine bottle wallflower as well. I just thought the purple one was cuter, so there is that. And these are $10.50, by the way. And no, they are not a nightlight. I know a lot of people ask if they're a nightlight. Um, that one is not. The next thing in here is the Napa Valley Sunset Nourishing Hand Cream. Good, good stuff. I love it. And then moving on to pocket backs, I got several pocket backs in the fall scents and, of course, the wine collection. Um, the first one I got is the White Peach Chardonnay. The next one I got was the Autumn Owl Cranberry Apple. Cute. Love the owl packaging. The next one is a Halloween one, and it's a gal friend. And this one actually has glitter in it, which, ugh, I hate the glitter. It's so childish. And I actually think the packaging on this one is a little childish. Um, but then again, I love pink, so I don't know. Kind of a love-hate with that one. Um, the next one is Ripe Raspberry Vine. Black Cherry Merlot, California Citrus and Sunshine, Sunlight and Apple Trees, Charming Chick, and this one, uh, the scent of this one is Sweet Strawberry. The next one is Sonoma Sunflower Blossom. Black Cherry Merlot, which I think I already showed that one. I got two of that one. I wanted to do any giveaway. Um, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Cozy Vanilla Cream, and the last one is the Vampire Blood, which is also obviously the Halloween theme. Love that one. They didn't put glitter in this one, which I like. Then I got this really cute three wick holder. Uh, it's got the wine bottles, it's got uh, the green leaves, and it's got the purple grapes. And I just think it's very, very adorable. It's so cute. And um, the price of it is $10.50, so it's a little pricey for just the candle sleeve, but super, you know, detailed, super cute. I love the wine bottle on it. I just think that's adorable. And then I got lots of room sprays. Uh, the first one is Sweater Weather. Are you saying the video that we have problems? What's the problem? There's a skunk out front? Dead. Dead? Yeah. What do you mean dead? Not in front of the garage. I better get rid of it. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. Um, 
Uh, the next one is leaves. A uh, pumpkin apple. Flannel. Love the packaging on this one. So pretty. Harvest gathering. Vanilla bean. Yum. Love this one. Pumpkin cupcake. Caramel pumpkin swirl. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And the last one is pumpkin pecan waffles. I love the packaging this year, like on the pumpkin fragrances. So cute. Then the last bag here, I got a couple hand creams. I got the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And the crisp morning air smells so good. I love this one. And then a few more soaps. I got another maple sugar kiss and the sweet cinnamon pumpkin and the notes in sweet cinnamon pumpkin are pumpkin, cinnamon, and spiced sugar. The next one is marshmallow pumpkin latte and the notes in it are creamy pumpkin, toasted marshmallow, and praline. You don't get any coffee note in this one whatsoever so if that scares you off don't let it because it doesn't have any coffee in it whatsoever. Um, the next one is sunlight and apple trees. The notes in it are fresh apple, quince, and birch wood. And then another fall side or fall lakeside breeze. Good, good stuff. Another hand cream in the bright autumn day. And then I got the marshmallow pumpkin latte body care. I got two body lotions and the shower gel. The notes in it are let's see, pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, white ginger, and praline musk. It smells better than last year. I feel like last year's wasn't as sweet and didn't have as much marshmallow. So the difference this year to me is that this one has more marshmallow this time around. I think they listened when everybody said they wanted more marshmallow, so it's a little bit sweeter. And so I do prefer it over last year's, and the packaging is adorable. And then I actually like the shower gel better because it's got the little, you know, cup of coffee there. It's cute. And that is everything that I have got to show you right now. Of course I'll be getting more, of course I'll do another haul. But yeah, if you like my Bath & Body Works hauls, then please give this a big thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Trying to find, find the words to say, words to say. To describe what you mean to me, mean to me. Side by side like a yin and yang, yin and yang. Like to stay up to my little Wayne.